Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, good morning, everybody. We get started with temperatures pretty close to 50 degrees. There's a little variety going on out there, but fairly cool, fairly comfortable. I think we're going to have clear enough skies early, and we'll start to accumulate some clouds as the day goes on. That should prevent the temperatures from getting too warm. Maybe we get up and give 80 a scare, maybe in a few spots, but I don't think we're talking widespread hot humid or anything like that. And then overnight tonight, those numbers are going to stay up because we're going to increase the clouds, and we're going to start looking to the west for our next chance to get wet. And I do think it during the day tomorrow, We've got a real good chance, not just for some showers, but for some thunderstorms, or maybe even for some more serious rain coming this way. So could be a really wet one by the second half of tomorrow. For today, it's going to be more about sunshine early and clouds slowly moving in. There are some big storms out to our west parts of Texas and Oklahoma, where there's dangerous storm potential. A lot of this energy is moving north, but there'll be more that moves its way from west to east along the Gulf Coast, and it's going to tap into some of that moisture from way down south over the Gulf of Mexico. So there's going to be plenty available to get some widespread serious rainfall accumulations. Now we're at 51 degrees this morning in Tallahassee, 52 in Thomasville, 53 in Valdosta. It's not breezy or anything. I don't think it's going to be today, but I do think we'll start to notice that a little bit more during the day tomorrow too, as it all starts to move our way. And then as we get to the second half of this week on the other side of the rain chances, I think we bring in a push of even colder air than we got with this last wave. So things are going to continue in that more typical November fashion, quicker moving multiple systems and these waves of cooler air. It's 46 right now in Blakely. It's 49 in Homerville. Got a couple of spots in the 40s and then there's Apalachicola checking in at 64 while pretty much everybody else somewhere in the low to mid 50s and that's not too uncommon at this point in November. It's not going to be a breezy day today, but that breeze will start to increase and it'll be more from the southeast and south. Not a lot of fog out there, but a couple of spots with some reduced visibility. Moultrie and Live Oak down to two and a half miles. Out west is where the big storms are. That's where all the energy is. Way down to the south is where this abundant tropical moisture is. And as that hooks on to this next boundary, that really should be able to overspread the region and give us a pretty good shot for a pretty good soaking. This should be a quick mover in, out, done like one, one day tops. And then more high pressure builds in behind it. We clear right back up and we're in for a lot of sunshine for the second half of the week. Just cooler air again. Now, Futurecast is trying to bring maybe the main batch of showers and storms to our area for the ride home or supper time tomorrow night. It may speed up a little tiny bit or slow down a bit, so we'll watch and see over the next 36 hours how we have to adjust that forecast. But I think as we go through the day tomorrow, we start to get ready for those next showers and thunderstorms. And then as we get into the day Wednesday, there may be a couple of lingering showers early, but it's going to be more about that change in wind direction and bringing in the cooler air as we get later into the day on Wednesday. And then things are going to be very different again starting Thursday. It'll probably start later on Wednesday afternoon, depending on how quickly everything gets in, gets out, and is done with us. As far as the tropics, go. This is what's left of what used to be Sarah. No organization to it anymore, but this moisture is going to continue to spread its way north and some of that will get hooked onto that next boundary and that will enhance those chances for some serious rains across the Gulf Coast. So it's one of those situations where it doesn't have to be a classified named organized system that tropical moisture itself can change your forecast a little bit and that tropical moisture is going to get involved in even our forecast as we get to tomorrow night into Wednesday, helping to enhance our chances for a more significant rain event on the Gulf today. Winds out of the south and southeast up to about 18 knots. So getting a little bit more breezy seas two to four feet. I think this morning is going to be about the sunshine 40s and 50s for temperatures. Sun will be up officially at 706 this afternoon. Some sun, more clouds. We'll start to see those get a little bit more noticeable later on. I think we get to the upper 70s should be a pretty nice afternoon and a pretty nice night, but going to be a little warmer and a little bit more humid as the clouds increase and as that moisture starts to spread this way. And here's our forecast for the week. It does feel like our best rain chances are tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and maybe for the very early parts of Wednesday. Then we clear out and when we do big changes in temperatures again, likely not going to get out of the 60s for highs Thursday and Friday and Saturday and those morning temperatures are going to drop even farther, maybe all the way back to or even below 40 in spots.